Bonjour. I am Valpre for the Notorious DID. This is a blue glam rock uh, filter. And I think I look like a not well put together drag queen. <laughs> This, uh, the top part's okay, I don't, I don't know, somewhere it loses in translation on my face. Today I want to talk about having a DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, and friendships. How does that work? Well, sometimes it doesn't work. We don't have a large cluster of friendships. We have several other dissociative identity disorder systems that we communicate with, uh, that do videos and things like this. Uh, as for regular friendships, we don't have a lot of them. What is the reasoning behind this? For those of you who may not know, being a multiple, you're constantly a different person. So I may make a friendship uh, with somebody and uh, I may like them and uh, they like my personality and then uh, say one of the others comes forward that's more abrasive or has a completely different personality. A lot of times people don't understand what you talk about or how that works. And sometimes it may scare them, so you lose the friendship. Or you may lose the friendship because they have to prepare themselves, be ready for whomever may be at the front, whomever they may come in communication with. And a lot of us have very different personalities and behavior patterns. So it's difficult to keep friendships. We have some that are very abrasive and will try to run off friends uh, that you may make because they either don't like them or it's just the way that they are. I don't know specifically, I can't speak for them. So it's very difficult to keep a friendship past a few days sometimes, or past a week, or at all. We really will be talking to somebody and then they decide uh, after we tell them that we have DID that they do not wish to talk to us anymore or they just stop talking to us, ghost us, which is fine. It's up to you if you wish to communicate with somebody or that's a multiple obviously that's your right it's uh, disheartening sometimes because with the outside world obviously with the inside world you got a lot of people that you're dealing with oh that sounded like I may have Cara up here close that's sometimes how you tell too like out of the blue Another person's accent will shine through and you kind of know that they might be co becoming co-con with you, co-conscious. Uh, I will go with the video. If she happens to come out, she comes out. Uh, but as I was saying, a lot of people will think, even with, uh, even like on here, when we make the videos and somebody tries to communicate with us through a uh, direct message, they don't seem to understand that we are multiple. So that they may be talking to a lot of different people and then uh, they start behave, some behave in a different manner that's not acceptable when they do find out. And uh, to me, especially with social media, you should be aware of who you're communicating with. 
if you see my video and you're like, oh, I really like her personality, I like her accent, I can understand where a lot of people may feel that uh, you're most likely a singleton because most people are. This is a, a fairly rare disorder and you're constantly going to be thinking that, oh, hey, I'll be communicating with one party. However, we are very, very outspoken about the fact we're a multiple. We're very outspoken about the fact that we are a DID system. Literally, all of our social media, well, we do have a couple of things that are more specific to individuals, but our main social media that we use for everything, for YouTube, that we use for TikTok, that we use for uh, Instagram, that we use for Facebook, we have pages that are listed as the Notorious DID, which is, in fact, the name of our Dissociative Identity Disorder system. And DID, of course, is the same Dissociative Identity Disorder. We're very outspoken and we do have uh, pinned information at each of these medias. So you should be aware of whom you're talking to when you communicate with us. I cannot uh, obviously change the fact that there are a lot of people who don't want to talk to a multiple. That's fine. There are a lot of people that have misconception of multiples. And that's fine too. If you just want to talk to us to learn, we're more than happy about that too. It's uh, particular to our system. Each system is different. We will state that and we always do. Outside of that, uh, building friendships is very difficult. When we're out in the world on a regular basis, we do change on a regular basis. Uh, people that are around us, like our neighbors, things like this, they're aware of the fact that we uh, have multiple personality and they just accept it, go about their business for the most part. Those, those that we talk on a regular basis, I will say. We don't have a lot that we talk to on a regular basis, so there's that too. But uh, outside of that, we don't, obviously, when uh, we're talking to somebody uh, that's a stranger, we don't say, hey, we've got DID. Want to talk to us? It, uh, they don't work like that. We are very open and honest about the fact of what we have. And if we start to talk about uh, talk to somebody that we want to form a friendship with or want to talk further, then uh, we do let them know that you are talking to a multiple. Because transparency is very important when you have this disorder. It's very important because we cannot control whom is at the front. We cannot shift out particular people. And even though I do have the ability to pull somebody to the front, it's not grounded. So nothing is in stone, ever. You're going to communicate with others that are in the system. And this is a main reason why it's very hard for us to make friends. People don't understand that you can't be whom you wish to be whenever you wish to be. If they only want to talk to one person, they say, oh, can this person come out? I want to talk to them. Well, first of all, it's kind of hurtful to whomever they're talking to now at that point. And second, it can't be done. Not with our system. I don't know about other systems. But our system, it can be done. You can't pick and choose. So you have to be prepared to be friends with whomever is at the front. This has been Val Prey for the Notorious DID. I just want to fill you in with how friendships work for our system, or don't work, I should say. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave us comments, we value you, we appreciate you, and we thank you for coming to listen to us.
Adios.